CC, Sir Kenzie Redshaw here back once again. My last top 10 for now. And it's top 10 most anticipated movies 2019. And just before I get started, uh, a few things I'm going to start promoting from uh, here on out. Um, you can follow me on Twitter at Kenzie Retro. Uh, if the notification, if the notification bell doesn't work on YouTube, everything I everything I upload on this channel, everything I do YouTube related gets pushed to my Twitter. So be sure to check that out. Uh, at Kenzie Retro. Uh, I've also got a Patreon as well. I'm going to start putting uh, Patreon exclusive content on that channel. Now, what that exclusive content is going to be remains to be seen, uh, but I may also, I might also, if I get enough support on Patreon, uh, patreon.com slash Kenzie Retro. If I get enough support on that, I, I may start doing early access to my podcast every week. And, uh, but nevertheless, there's a lot, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of, um, there's, there's, pl there's plenty to, uh, there's plenty, as, there's plenty of rewards as far as their Patreon is uh, concerned. And I've got, I've got, I've got plenty of tiers, uh, tier reward, tiered rewards, so you can uh, keep up to date with what I do on on, on my channel. So, so I've got that. Um, so I've got my Patreon, my Twitter, and this channel, uh, this channel as well. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Uh, number ten, uh, the first of many Disney offerings this year. And uh, spoiler, there's going to be a lot of Disney-related properties on this list. So we're starting off with the first of our live-action adaptations, and it's Aladdin. Now, the original released in 1992, critical praise across the board, two Academy Awards, Robin Williams as the genie, Will Smith taking over that responsibility in this live-action adaptation. I like the costume designs from the poster, the trailer looks great. Sounds like they managed. It sounds like from the trailer they managed to get the uh, original voice for um, uh, the Cave of Wonders. Scheduled for May twenty nineteen, and like I say, it's not the only mob. It's not the only Disney property we've got throughout this year. Only in this top ten, for that matter. Number nine, Captain Marvel. Who goody, the first female solo superhero film in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. We had Wonder Woman back in 2017. Fantastic. Captain Marvel is the last film we're going to have before Avengers Endgame. Which reminds me, I need to do my top 10 Stan Lee cameos. Which is where I'm going to need your help. I'm going to need your, I want your help, guys, for your... I want you guys to send me your favorite Stan Lee cameos and I will rank them because we are going to do this top, we're going to do that top 10 list justice. In the loving memory of Stan Lee, we are going to do that top 10 list justice. We're going to have it done by the fans for the fans. So, this takes place long before we have the events of um, the MCU films. And it's scheduled for the uh, beginning of March for its release date. Nick Fury back in this film. Like I say, it's set before the events of um, Infinity War. No doubt, I mean, there's no doubt we're going to have Captain Marvel making an appearance in Avengers Endgame. Which may feature in this list. I mean, I've, I've got to have it featured in the list somewhere. Because, I mean, come on. Anyway, number eight, Alita Battle Angel. Battle Angel, oh, goody, another live-action adaptation of an anime. 
or, uh, or manga even. Fans are skeptical about this, but it's one I'm looking forward to. Scheduled for um, the early part of 2019. That she's the last of her kind. And if she dies, then that's it. So it's definitely one I'm going to be checking out. Number seven. Uh, hey, young Chucky, wanna play? Oh my word, that is so terrifying. <laughs> it's been just over 30 years since we first had the first Child's Play film. And it's getting, re it's getting a reboot. Are we still going to have the original voice actor of Chucky? Fingers crossed we do. Oh boy. Definitely going to be checking that one out. Number six. Another biopic. I had Bohemian Rhapsody in my top ten movies of 2018. We've got Rocket Man, Focusing on Elton John. And unsurprisingly we had the song Rocket Man. In the first trailer, which I reacted to last year. I was actually singing along to it as well. I did it. It's one of my one of my favourite Elton John songs of all time. Rocket Man burning out his fuse up here in Rome. Number five, the climax to the sequel trilogy, Star Wars Episode Nine. Fans didn't like ha what happened with uh, The Last Jedi, but in my opinion, I said it was better than Empire Strikes Back, and I got so much backlash from it. <laughs> but was I concerned? Of course not. It's my opinion, so... How on earth they're gonna do this without Carrie Fisher? Because reports I read said that there was gonna be a face-to-face -face confrontation between Kylo Ren and Princess Leia. General Leia, I should say now. So she'll always be our prin she'll always be Princess Leia to us. Interesting fact. Um, minus the solo Star Wars film. Minus the Han Solo Star Wars film, I've been to I've been to every midnight screening of the sequel trilogy plus Rogue One. But nevertheless, here's hoping we manage to pick ourselves back up. Number four. Toy Story 4. Now I'm skeptical. I was skept I'm skeptical about this, but after seeing trailers, some of that skepticism has gone to the side. But it doesn't change the fact that I'm still still skeptical about it. I mean, can you blame me, guys? The way the third one ended was perfect. Why did they need a fourth one? But I'm still gonna go along to see it anyway, because some reassurance that it's. Woody and the gang looking for Bo Peep after she was given away prior to the events of Toy Story 3. Toy Story, which, which, by the way, I actually watched Toy Story 3 over the Christmas period. I actually watched the Toy Story trilogy, in fact. That furnace scene still gets me every time. First time I watched it, I was legitimately like, this is the end. Number three now. Nachimanya Magaritima! 25 years since the animated version of The Lion King. How on earth they're going to be able to do justice to this remains to be seen. The latest in, I'll say this is part of the trip, this is part of the latest trend of uh, 
hey, this film was popular, let's let's make it live action. Uh, let's see, Beauty and the Beast, already done. Jungle Book, already done. Cinderella, already done. Maleficent, Master of the Beauty, already done. Alice in Wonderland, uh, we left that one for Tim Burton. Dumbo, we've got that. Uh, Pinocchio. Yeah. They're remaking everything. They're, they're, like, they're doing... They're doing live action with everything. Why not do some live action adaptations of some of the more underrated films, like like Hercules or, or Tarzan? I mean, I mean, yes, Tarzan was successful. It got an Academy Award for "You'll Be in My Heart," but like, um, uh, 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 what about Treasure Planet? That that's criminally underrated. Reason I say that is because of the when it was released. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers, and Gangs of New York. I'd be bricking myself if I was up against that sort of competition. Anyway, doesn't change the fact. I mean, I mean, from the first trailer, my word, it looks great. I'm excited. You've got James Earl Jones back as Mufasa. What did you say? Okay, Fasa. Good. Now get out. We're still hungry. Out. I could quote that film word for word. <sighs> July 2019, on the eve of the animated version's 25th anniversary. Number two, and everything is awesome with Lego. Now, in my top 10 movies of 2017, I chose Lego Ninjago over Lego Batman because Ninjago was more relatable to me. And now we've got the Lego Movie, the second part, to give it its official title. This is going to be brilliant. I mean, the Lego Movies have proven to be very successful so far. So, here's hoping. Now let's get some honorable mentions out of the way. Uh, I'll just run through them very quickly. Spider-Man Far From Home, Dumbo, X-Men Dark Phoenix, Frozen 2. Yes, I did not put Frozen on, the t on my list because Frozen is overrated at this point. Let it go, Disney! Detective Pikachu, Hobbs and Shaw, the spin-off to the Fast and Furious. Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, boy. Escape Room, which I'm excited about. I've done my fair share of escape rooms, and they've actually got a horror film based around it. The Kid Who Would Be King, King Arthur, and Are You Afraid of the Dark? Who remembers that TV show? That was pretty flipping terrifying. Anyway, honourable mentions are now out of the way. I mean, I've got a short list there of about 20 films. So unsurprisingly, I'm going to need to cut that list in half. Anyway. Let's get uh, the uh, let's get uh, let's get a recap before we get to number one. Number ten, Aladdin. Number nine, Captain Marvel. Number eight, Alita: Battle Angel. Number seven, Child's Play. Number six, Ragged Man. Number five, Star Wars. Number four, Toy Story four. Number three, The Lion King. Number two, The Lego Movie two. It's a no-brainer as to what the number one's going to be. But here it is. Avengers Endgame. I was one of the very first to react to the trailer for Endgame. I recorded my reactions 20 minutes after the trailer came out. And my goodness me, excitement was through the roof. Broken YouTube records. So, at this point, I wouldn't be surprised in the slightest if this film became only the third film in history to eclipse the $2 billion barrier. And that's without adjusted inflation. We've been building up to this for over 20 films. Iron Man, Incredible Hulk, Iron Man 2, Thor, Captain America, 
the Avengers or Avengers Assemble or the Hero in the New Cages if they didn't want to continue with the Thor and the Thor TV show. Iron Man 3. Thor the Dark World. Captain America the Winter Soldier. Guardians of the Galaxy. Avengers Age of Ultron. Ant-Man. Guardians of the Galaxy 2, Captain America Civil War, Doctor Strange, Spider-Man Homecoming, Thor Ragnarok, Black Panther, Avengers Infinity War, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Captain Marvel, 11 years. 11 years and 22 films because I'm including Endgame in that, that 22 it all comes down to this part of me is excited but part of me is dreading how this is going to end but this is it this is going to be the end of the Infinity War storyline. And like I said, I wouldn't be surprised if this ended up breaking the $2, million, $2 billion barrel. I wouldn't be too surprised if that happened. Anyway, that does it for today, and that's my initial run of top 10s out of the way. If you enjoyed what you saw, if you did, as always, hit the thumbs up, and if you want to be baptized and following this channel, hit the subscribe button down at the bottom, click the bell to join the Lapid Disney Notification Squad so you don't miss anything I do on this channel. On the left, you've got my top 10 more anticipated games of 2019, and on the left, right, you've got my top 10s players. What do, you want me to do? what do you want me to do a top 10 on next, guys? Uh, sound off in the comments. And like I said, I want your help to put together my top, to put together our top 10 Stan Lee cameos. I want, I want you guys to band together. Avengers Assemble. We're going to do this list justice. Follow me on Twitter. Support me on Patreon if you can. And enjoy the rest of your day. Peace out. Stay faithful as always.